Hello everybody and welcome to the good old game that we all know and love, BO2 and Origins. Arrival at site identified mm. no of target. Oh, man, I just realized as well, we, like I did a run, I got double swiped on round two and I was like, you know what, I don't really vibe with this world. So I restarted uh, and I lost uh, one of my zombie ranks, which was super annoying because although it doesn't really matter or anything, it's kind of sad when you lose like a key little rank because you know I had a knife and a skull and now I have nothing. I love it when you just can't have your knife work on round one. Um, is it here? It's not. It's over there. So it's actually. I think. Hmm. This Mauser is so weird looking. Has anyone ever said that? Like, this is not like what a Mauser would actually look like. It is a very stylized Mauser with like a, all these little doobobs and doohickeys on the sides and stuff. Definitely makes the gun look cooler, but like one of those things where it's like it's a bit silly. Grab this now. as well. Um, we could go for something cooler. But uh, we really don't need to. We'll now just head. Actually, we'll make a good. Ch oh, okay. For two seconds there, I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, it's here. I think this will come in handy. We have two okay guns. It's always so amazing that you can get like the Remington just out of the ground. I think the ground weapons that they chose were really good. Um, I think it would have been sick though to have the uh, Olympia be one of those ones as well though. I might be able to find a good use for this. Wow, I got all six bullets back. That's what I mean, like. If you look at the ballista and then look at like the Remington, you should really be able to see like the difference in treatment. Like the, uh, you know, the ballista has like 80 shots in it. This gun has, uh, you know, max like God damn. Actually kind of violent. That's when you know that you still have morality left. Is when you just split second see someone die. Like you know even just as like a zombie in a game and you're like Jesus. I think it gets such a real way. Like it literally would be like this in two seconds in a split of a second. That's all it would be. And then you'd be like well. Let's just get double points. Probably shouldn't have done that actually. Either all it doesn't really matter to me too much. Part of there the we go, staff. staff boss. 
We'll buy this. So we need fifteen hundred to get to the next level area. I think yeah, once you open to the other area, that's when all the other airplanes come in. As like a fail safe. Like some sort of like, you know, just let's make sure that they don't get to the thing majiggy. Because it could also be a way to make sure that uh, the start of the map loads really well in multiplayer. That was the most uncomfortably close I've ever been to a nuke. <sighs> Sometimes you just value things very stupidly. Now I'm mad. Can somebody stop double swiping like a fucking lunatic? Like Jesus. I think double swiping need like there's like fine tuned mechanics that they need to that they should do rather uh, not like need yeah. to because it's like I hope it works a whole lot better than it tastes like it's you know it's BO2 who cares but um if if they're gonna make a new one I think the two hit system is cool just have it be that like until round like eight or something they can't double swipe just so then you have a few round or even just round five. Because then it's just like, okay, cool. Like, them being faster is okay and fine. But not if it's just, like, to an obscene degree. Now, where you first saw them? now then, now they should have... Bastards are appearing! I've had a clear look at it. Holy shit. Okay. Well, we're going to be good in some sense of the word. A part of some kind of staff. somewhere to put these pieces together okay the thing that's funny is we could very easily uh, have the potential of getting all of the ice staff parts immediately once I have this part we'll have ourselves something useful And I mean, I will have a look around, because uh, if we do find it, then it's just like, hey, nice. And the ice. Stupid joke. Um, so we do have the zombie shield. We already looked up there. Yeah, no, I don't think there's much... First snowstorm gone, but if we were to be going for the ice staff, I would have probably put more effort in, but yeah, it's fine. Can you hear me? Please, you have to help me. I'm trapped here. I just want to go home. Part of me is very unsympathetic. Whoa, what the frick was that? I don't have my fucking controller plugged in, so it can't be that. Oh, that's kind of convenient. Looks like we all just got loaded up. I feel the red haze coming on. It's like I want to pick a fight. Nothing. You hear me? 
Can the knife have range? Like, I swear, every single time I play BO2 Zombies, I get absolutely destroyed, not because of actually anything, like, outskill. It's just that the knife has literally no range, and happens every game. It's the most like infuriating thing. Anyway, let's have a look at the sky, see if there's... None yet. I can't believe we're going through all our freaking quick revives immediately. Not because of anything stupid on our part, but because the game just said, What if there was no range on the knife? Twice. Like, for all the shit I give it in BO3, at least the knife in that game, if you knife, you will lunge forward to actually knife them. Which is like. Convenient. Uh, I hope that works a whole lot better than it tastes. Yeah, the only way we're getting a quick revive again is if we um actually get it from uh the Wonderfizz, which I think is extremely rare. God damn, that's so annoying. That's such a vibe killer. I guess that is how life works sometimes. God, that looks so sick. Anytime you have a good look at the giant, it's like, god damn. That's why it's always like, uh, one of the things I put in the thumbnails is just because it's like such good fucking, uh, iconography. Like, it's very iconic, it's very cool. So at this point, we're just looking towards getting the um, last gen on. You know what's funny? So with Transit, they wanted to make it, but it was just like, if it, it would have worked better if it was on next gen consoles. Then they did uh, BO3. BO3 worked on last gen consoles. Like yeah, it didn't look as good. But it worked in its entirety on last gen consoles. And that will always never be not funny to me. The fact that like yeah, if like they waited for transit like one more game, it would have just been like a completely okay and fine idea. Is there a significance to this recording? Yes, the recording is uh what's a good song? Earth, Wind, and Fire. That's a good band. Let's, um, let's get rid of some of these zombies. All the generators are up front. Thank the Lord. Okay. That's fourteen hundred. Well, actually, yes, it is. Um. Um, the problem is, right, is, like, the STG is really, like, from last time I used it, it's, like, not as good as you remember it being. Okay, we'll have a look around here. Because one thing I don't do often is actually make the uh, Maxis drone. Don't start fights you can't win. Out of my fucking way. Hmm. I 
Secondarily, we'll buy this. So many others tried. Um. So many others failed. It ain't there. I'm that sucks. On that little girl. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Straight up right here. Ancients were lost. Her father made copies. You can find them. You can get me out. You can open the gateway to a. You know what's funny in my head? I literally was so like, oh, we can get the stuff. Can we do this part now? Okay, so it's the middle one, middle top, and bottom. So this is the very top one, I believe. Is this bottom? No. This up. Doesn't make sense that that's the bottom one, but oh my god, zombies! Jeez. This is why I hate games that are like so like maps rather, not hate games. But this is why I hate maps that are so dedicated to being like no 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 no. There's a there's a main quest. You want you want to do the main quest. Well then make it so then the zombies aren't a fucking piece of shit on solo. Because otherwise it's a total pain. But anyway, we've done that. We'll pick up the gramophone, put it in the fire staff place, kill this panzer, and then um... Actually while we're down here... Oh that's right, they removed the STG for the fucking... For the other gun, for some reason, on this map. They removed it for the um, Tommy gun, which like, like it's not even like, is that version of the Tommy gun even yeah, present on the other maps? Yeah, like I don't even think it is. So it's just really up like weird that it's there. I know. I don't feel like Chronicles was a mixed bag of quality anyway. So, like I think the World of War maps probably were the best off from all of it. Just because they look so incredibly good. Okay, where is the bastard? Where I'm from, sirens are never good news. Never warned us they were armory coffins. Did a headshot. Please, I'm preying on your you ignorance and innocence in the situation. Please, I need to kill everyone violently. <laughs> Will you help me on my quest? Oh, what's your quest? Kill everything. Uh, you know what, I think I might not. Comes with a free coupon. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, we have the music for you. Father said a lot of things. Harness the elements. Only if all can guard the My lord, have I never been close to dying before? God, I hate that you have to rebuild the damn teleporter five times. Fuck it. Looks like that blast wiped most of them out. Okay, why does this path have the common decency to literally be like, nah, as soon as you do it, you'll be fine? Like every other one, like when you teleport out of the crazy place, it makes you face the portal and like one inch away. If you press anything that isn't like fucking back, you immediately go back in the portal. But the fire one is just like, you know what? No, we're gonna be actually civil about this. It's like what? 
The thing that's so interesting about the zombie blood is, although, yes, it's a zombie blood and they, the zombies can't see you, they still know exactly where you are, and that's why they spawn in around you, because they know that you're there. However, on a nice, tasty round nine, we're going to be getting the, f the thing that we wanted this entire time, and died like 20 times getting. Now the thing that's cool about this is we have to simply just kill zombies at a place, uh, in the crazy place, in the fire staff. Uh, and then once we do that we just do a little step afterwards and then we have the upgraded fire staff. So it's not even that bad. I do have the cheat sheet with me, just so then um... I can just look at it and be like, okay, cool, easy. God damn it. The red one is the best one, in my opinion. Like, just look how cool that red portal is. Yeah, so, over these, this is where we're going to be shooting. But yeah, I think the thing that's really cool is that, you know, there's, like, the utility starves, and then there's, like, the, you know, insta-kill starves. Like, you can tell which ones are which. Okay, so I am going to want to actually kind of loop them around a bit. Gotcha. Yeah, we're getting there. This is a cool step, I like. I think it would be cooler if, um, there was more of... <sighs> I know it happens every time, but, like, if you're on a good pace, like, for me, a good pace, you're gonna be at, like, you know, town around 10 when you're upgrading a staff, so it's really obnoxious that that's when, um, the zombie does this. Annoying because that just means that. Ooh. You don't see it so well. Um, I'm actually gonna bring the access to that around. So that was that. So now we've turned on the next part of the quest. The secrets of Agartha will be revealed. The ancient stars and riddles will never be solved. They were wrong. They were so wrong. That was interesting. So it went from five to three for no, like no apparent reason. Um, I think like in the previous one, we're just going to go for the STG as our secondary weapon. Just because when we upgrade the stars, we do need a weapon that actually is competent. Um, and pack a punching, you know, STG is just like a thing. Oh, right, yeah. Mm, right. Right. I forgot about it. It's all, You always feel extra stupid when you forget something like, oh, yeah, right, I need to do this and I do that. And then you're just like, what if I just did it? Damn, mud slowing me down. Oh, well that's awesome. You wanna go unnoticed by your friends? You get sent all over. Okay. Take Tepsi. The soldier who knows no fear. 
That's crazy. Only you have the pow. Like boom boom pow. Yeah, we're gonna definitely need a new Rick stuff. Another of your crazy machines. Okay, so we get a new shield. We'll ignore some of those for now just because we really do want to focus on getting this shield and stuff done. So with the spats and the stuff of fire. Yep, okay, cool. So, now we just go back to the church. And then we'll be able to do the next part of it, which is just put the staff back and grab it again. And then we'll be good. And hopefully this isn't too, this hasn't been too long. Because, yet again, I do want to really make sure that these starting parts of the videos aren't that boring. I will be editing uh, a few of maybe the deaths out or something like that. I don't know. If I will. The problem is, is I feel like it's it's an interesting battle. Okay, so so five nine three four nine five. Yeah. So nine. Five, three. Oh, then what the fuck was that? Think this was a bit of a tactical What's this one? Like, why does that just not have a letter associated with it? Is it just the final one to say screw you? Okay, well then I guess it's like nine five. Okay, well one. Let's get rid of all of you. Three. Yeah, it was like that just to say screw you. Awesome. Like, I don't like it when games do that, where they just, like, have one of the steps be like, Oh no, what's the this one? Whoa! And you just stand there just like, really? You're gonna be annoying and obtuse about this? But, you know, that's just video games in a nutshell. Especially be, uh, Call of Duty Zombies, Easter Egg, and stuff like that. They're usually very annoying and obtuse. Because obviously they have to be like kind of hidden so then people don't find them like immediately. But it's the zombies community. Like people will just data mine if they can't find it in like two minutes. Damn, I honestly feel like restarting this one just because it's gone so eh. The fact that we died so, like a bunch of times super early. Such a disappointment. See what I mean? Like, I went forward instinctively, but then because it wasn't just immediately in my face, I was fine. I wish I could see how long I've been, uh, that's why everyone loves those, uh, speedrun things. But I would have to, have to have, like, a separate monitor, and then at that point it would be fine anyway. I wonder if I get my new PC, should I get a second monitor? That's like a actually good question. Probably, right? Ima I just imagine how bad this game would be, uh, multiplayer, like, gramophone wise. Like, you'd have to, like, someone could just hold on to the gramophone to just be like, hee hee hee, I have the gramophone. Yep. 
So now that we have done that one very important step that definitely needs to be there, um, we can now go. I mean, like, it does make sense at the end of the day for it to be there and, like, everything is, like, I, I get it, but it's just kind of annoying. That's, like, half of Origins staff upgrading, honestly. It's just, do you remember the one thing you need to do that, you know, you always forget? Ah, oh, no, I, I actually didn't. Oh, well, screw you. That's like, great. I would actually love to do a video where I um upgrade all the stars. Which essentially just means I would love to do a video where I do the Easter egg. But unfortunately I can't do that because um Yeah, Easter egg with who which, which people? Who am I gonna do the Easter egg with, huh? Can the reloads just actually like work? When you don't have speed caller, it really does feel so shitty. <sighs> Kazusuchi's blood. The thing that's funny about this stuff, um, more so about this entire run, is like we've okay, we've gotten to round twelve, we've done all the things. That's actually slightly annoying. Interesting. I think this is probably the worst staff, in my opinion. I don't know if it's infinite damage. If it's infinite damage, then obviously not. But if it ain't, then probably. But we're going to be doing our same old tests. It looks cool, though. That's a plus. It seems to essentially have the same... Uh, Starting function as that must have been at least five hundred pounds of explosives right there. You yeah. behind all these magic potions too, German? Oh, so cool. I love using these stars. This one probably has like you look you think of the Kazuchi blood and you're like, oh damn, it's gonna look sick, and then it's like, okay. Wait, did it not start with max ammo? I guess the staffs just don't in this game. Because it did not have 120 in reserve. <laughs> it's like a fucking mini game in a Zelda game. Do 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 do. Do 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 It's so weird, you have to keep aiming in the direction you want to hit it. But it seems to maybe be uh infinite damage. Like, I don't know, like that's the thing, is like I really don't know. And that's gonna be the fun thing, like if we can Oh, we lost our shield. The in Sounds like one of the generators is under attack. Generator zombies when you don't want to have fun. Und, I was seeing you were having a fun. At that time, it did give a max ammo.
grab you. The thing about so many of these staves is that either literally you only use the charge shot or the charge shot is pretty underwhelming. And I think the fire staff is probably going to follow suit uh, with more of the ladder. Where it's better to kind of just, you know, have it than it is to like, you know, really try to go crazy with it. If that's the case and it does like a bunch of damage and just kills like literally an entire horde with one shot, then yeah, no, I wonder why. I wonder why the lightning staff uh, isn't as good, I wonder. Had to cough. That it really is just like the game just turns into not even a game as soon as you get it. I guess you. I guess it's kind of fine if um at the end of the day it's kind of like a longer video, cause like as soon as you get to this part, it's just like I wonder how long they'll last for, and then you just check the video, and then you're like, okay, cool. That's a problem with uh want doing these wonder weapons is that it's like who like at the end of the day it's kind of like yeah well they're gonna get kind of far. Too many of them. Where the fuck are you guys? I love Sundere, freaking Dempsey. It's so weird how, like, just good the normal shot of this is. Uh, one thing I will say is the elemental stars are so cool just for, like, it, the elements, so you can just have, like, voice lines that would make sense for, like, I don't know, like, the flamethrower and such. Damn, that was a joke. The ammo seems to be pretty decent too. Having 120 in reserve is essentially like the same thing as um kind of similar to um a lightning staff, I think. And I think that is the downfall of the lightning staff. It's like yeah, it has good save me potential. Um. But at the end of the day, it's like, you still have to work for it. This weapon, if if a weapon you don't have to work for is, like, kind of e like kind of better, then it really does just ask the question of why bother? This now. for World War Two, Dempsey. You'll be very different. Then that's actually really metal looking. Just this uh, freaking soldier. That was sick looking. Yeah, at the moment, like it seems pretty good. I'll have to just, you know, figure out, like, the ranges of everything, though. And that's, you know, at the end of the day, what we're really here for is to actually be checking the ranges. How good is it at doing this, that, that, and this. Oh, well, bastard is... Chose death. Oh, that's awesome. We get a good amount of 
we'll extend this insta kill. Maybe get through this round. If we don't, then we don't. Man, isn't it crazy that because we didn't get the easter egg done on the very first attempt in like round 15 that we're condemned to do this forever? Isn't that insane, guys? Sounds like one of the generators is under attack. Yeah, it does definitely sound like that. Yeah, I too know the very distinct sound of generator smacking. Yeah, this one just seemingly always gives you one, which is interesting. Anyone asks, tell him Dempsey is packing heat. Insta kill. I feel the red haze coming on. It's like I want to pick a fight. Blood money. Almost too easy. It does feel really good to get rid of like a bunch of frickin' zombies. Thought there would be less of you. I guess there wasn't that many of them. Ah, which was that close the entire time. One mystery box hit away from uh, getting it. The main thing I think is if it's still like a one shot kill, like it really depends on when it stops becoming a one shot kill. But like, really, like, does it? Like, I feel like that's like the same mindset of the people who hate the lightning stuff is like. It only does a set amount of damage. Even if that set amount of damage is astronomically huge. We lost our shield again. People will just be like, oh, but it doesn't always kill. It's like, can you shoot it again in quick succession? Well, yes, but... <laughs> well, yes, but actually, no. There we go. One, two, three. Something happening here. Just put a... One, two, three. Well, that didn't really work the way I wanted it to. I think apparently the church steps, the uh, church area, has the highest spawn rate. And if that's the case, then I want to go there. Like, I just want to get as fast as possible. There you go. I also wanted to just get the golden shield just in case we can get our scoop up a nice little perk. Yeah, this is definitely way riskier. I think it's the leap between those two little areas. It's annoying. Come any closer and I'll jab this thing in your freaking eye. Okay. Looks like that blast wiped most of them out. Yeah, it's like this. And then you do that, and then you pull out your claymore, and then you're like, cool, and then you do it again and again and again and again until you go insane.
It really do sometimes be that easy, huh? Just rhythmically shooting from side to side. We got our pickaxe and we're swinging from side. To be sh to be frank, this kind of does look like a weird pickaxe. I think we have to be higher up. Well, I think this might not be an as an ammo efficient spot, but it could have just been that the lightning stuff had like 60 more bullets to work with. I'm gonna go back to the... Oh, I know a spot that would be... Where are you spawning? Where are you dropping, boys? Yeah, so we'll go to uh, the tank spot, uh, tank generator 2 or whatever, um, because that spot has uh, insanely fast spawns all around, which is perfect for what we want to do. Because we just want to have a spot where there's like so many zombies, so many like crazy things going on, that there's always going to be collateral no matter where we shoot, essentially. Like, this is going to be a good spot, I can tell you now. It's going to be a very hectic spot, but uh, the fact that we're going to get like the most bit, uh, the most amount of our shots definitely makes it worth it. Because there's just going to be zombies spawning in everywhere around us. So that point, like, some of the shots that we think might not hit will actually be to hit those spawning in zombies. Damn, big brain time. If this doesn't go very well, uh, I think I will redo this one just a month. Always with the generator too. It's very interesting. As soon as I demand that you do what I say, you should show a bit more gratitude. I'm risking my life. Yeah, it definitely, yeah, that, that kind of proves it, like, at this point, this and the lightning staff have definitely, like, the same damage. Like, he was molten and it took two staff hits to still kill, so, like, yeah, like, it definitely is cut from the same broth. So it must be that the charge shot, or the fact that it's available easier... Or maybe because it's like it spews out multiple hits. Like, oh, but like the multi hit, like it's literally like the Raygun Mark II, this one. Save that little bit of ammo. Oh, feels nice. We already don't have a shield. Great. Insta kill. You behind 
sell these magic potions too, German? First, we'll get this kaboom. There was supposed to be an earth shattering kaboom. You run out of your insta kill. It's interesting. It's kind of. It feels like a very small liquefier effect added to um like a shotgun ray gun Mark III. Playing with these staffs really does, um, however, enlighten me to the fact that, like, weapons are going to be very interesting. Yeah, there we go. Just wanted to make sure that we don't waste too much, like, staff ammo. We have like literally almost all of the challenges just available, it's hilarious. Interesting though, like it seems as though sometimes um the shot will matter and sometimes it won't, kind of at random. But I would say if it had a bit more, like, you know, with a double tap, this definitely is probably better than lightning stuff. But as it is currently, it does feel like they can get a few hits on you. Which is the thing that makes the lightning stuff so appealing, is that they won't really be able to hit you while you're firing it. I really don't like zombie bloods for challenges like this as much. Like there have been times obviously where it's like really clutch and awesome. Um, but so many times it'll just feel like, oh cool. Because okay. I just want them to be as quick as possible shotgunning to my location so I can get as much damage in. The thing that's going to be interesting though is really just if I, when I do go down, because it's not going to be an if, like when I go down, am I going to suffer the problem of um, having to deal with Navigated that fucking perfectly. Perfect navigation of that. Obviously, boss health uh, works very differently than um, non boss health. But it's still so interesting how. Ooh, don't get fucking hit 12 times. Jesus. Back to this. No more fun for you guys. Um, I think what we'll do. Zombie blood. Clean. You want to go unnoticed by your prey? Get their scent all over you. I see how that has been. All that will be. I like they. 
got two voice lines and just cobbled them together to have her say that. No, I don't. Sounds like she's literally cracking at the seams. Which supports my idea that it's like the Shadow Man or some sort of evil man, uh, manipulative force. So annoying though how long you have to move around just to get to places on this map. The fact that that isn't, it isn't, like, it isn't a run shot anymore, so, like, kind of comparable damage to the, uh, lightning staff. That's a bit away. It should be that you can hit the, like when it's raining, you can shoot a shot of the fire staff at the, um, the carts, and then if you shoot them when they're on fire, when it's cold, uh, you get the zombie bloods, so just so then there's more than just one way to get zombie bloods. Well, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Like, obviously, you know, you can't really quantify how much 10 rounds really is at the end of the day. Um, but like, we're getting in there. Sounds like one of the generators is under attack. Uh, yeah, it it does really feel like this one maybe doesn't have the best charge shot, which is interesting because I think it is like you know, like you can use it to actual effect, but it's interesting that it doesn't really feel like that when you're actually using the weapon itself. Gun. That's crazy how we have not gotten the- I know we haven't- there we go. I was literally just one off, okay. I was gonna say like, it's kinda crazy though. It definitely is uh, insta kill, it seems to be. Because it does so much damage immediately that it kills them. <laughs> I love when you get multiple kills at once and it literally just it just gives up and it's like, you know what, you just got this much. You just you got two forty that time. I'll burn this place to the ground if I 
literally just made a protective barrier. That's cool. That makes this weapon definitely interesting. I don't think it's as good as the light. Like, yet again, if it's infinite damage, it's infinite damage, and then you can't compare it. But if it is, like, it falls off again at, like, round 40 or so, like, you know, then it's, like, up to debate at that point. Like, do you want the more safe weapon, or do you want the more, like, gung-ho weapon? And that's a legitimate option. Did it legitimately just show the ice staff because it was snowing? Like, hey gamer, you do, you do realize that there's an objective you could be doing. Ah, oh, I know how to get burned. I've been burned before, nothing too crazy. Oh, yeah. Hurt. It changed the way I had to do things for like a good, like two months, but you know, burns are burns. I got my arm and face burned. Only through kettles though. I've also had a big bean can slice my finger in half. Or slice into my finger. Yeah, there's, you gotta make sure you don't make things sound too over dramatic. Okay, good to know that it isn't always in the same spots. Okay. That was fucking interesting. Okay, well, we'll go to man 30. 31. Like, if we can get to around 40 with this, I'm just going to be happy at the end of the day. Especially considering how much of a bad start we had. I use fire on me, I'm the fireman. Do you ever think in like superhero like worlds and universes there's like people who accidentally call for the fireman, like the man made of fire, when they want to have like their fire like saved, like ah fire, fire, and then the fireman comes in and is like, I oh, can help, and then like burns the house more. Like you idiot, we wanted the fucking firemen, not the fireman. really are gonna need some more max ammos and oh thank you game for listening to my words very closely oh it's so nice to me my every need killing this one zombie family <laughs> it's going well I do think this is definitely the spot I should choose for this one. The thing that is nice though is like I don't know for sure. We had 10, 10, 10. That's funny. Did that seriously kill no zombies? Maybe we shot it so d deep into the ground. We planted our seed deep into the earth, and then that the reason why it literally killed no zombies is because it didn't hit any surface. No, 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 no. Very 
very different game right now. Very different game right now. Love doing that. But hey, we're at 33. So annoying though. Like my confidence would be so much higher if um we didn't go down like 20 times on like the most inc inconsequential shit. It seems like the side shots are more delayed than the middle shot. Uh, which allows it so when you jump and then you shoot and then you spin to hit different areas. Oh yeah, no. This is not as safe as uh, Lightning Staff for sure. Yeah, so I guess that means that there's definitely like... You know, like this is the camping staff. Except for, you know, the ice staff does everything better than any other staff in the entire game. But, like, except for safety. Like, you know, like, you know, fire staff is the camping staff. Um, lightning staff is the save me, uh, is like the safety staff. You can just zap it on the ground and you're like, you know, you're not going to get downed immediately. The wind staff is definitely the get off me staff. And then the ice staff is the, the you know, similar to the uh, ice uh, wind staff, but a bit different in uh, utility. Going down, bum, baby, bum. You're getting fucked up. Fuck. Who's dropping bombs? Sorry, I just got such a good kill streak going. We like bomb bombs. Okay, round thirty-five. Um, Pans is first, and then it's the Generator Zombies the next round. And at the moment, we're kind of fine from uh, the terror of uh, Pans. Because we just got a max ammo, so if it is like a Panzer. Oh, it won't. Using, I don't know if they if they did that because BO3 kind of does the same thing or not. But boy, like, even if it's a plutonium like thing and like I'm getting a bonus because of it, um, god damn, I will take it any day. It is seemingly only happens in this map, which is why I'm more on the turn like idea of maybe it's just a thing that happens on this map. But boy, howdy, will I take it? So useful. So much fun dancing with the fire and the flames. There we go. 
I mean, definitely, I would say that Fire Staff is good. I have to look it up. But, like, the reason why I am doing these videos, by the way, is just so I can get my own opinion. Uh, as I always will and always do believe, uh, the only way to actually have an opinion is to try it out yourself. If you're going to be all like, but the main man, Swee, for Tekken, let's say. Or, oh, but, you know, the Smith plays said... Like, even people, like, like everyone changes opinions, for one. So, clinging on to an opinion that's, like, an old opinion, like, typically, like, it's literally what boomers are doing. Are you saying that you're a boomer? Like, you know, you're like, oh, but in my day, people said the transit was bad, and I'm not willing to commit to change. That's why we have such a shitty situation to live in right now. It's only through actually making new choices in life that you're actually going to improve at things. That's why when you want to get good at a video game, you keep trying out different things to see what works. It's also how these easter egg steps get like figured out. People try different things, like, oh, maybe if I switch these knobs around, like, there's a bunch of them around. And then that, you know, oh, man, I figured out how to do the lightning stuff. This one again. Is there like only this many zombies left? We're running a bit low, but we should be able to be fine. If I get low, low, I can always go and um get the max ammo. Or the game will tell me to get the max ammo anyway. Fucking, I hate the uphillness. Let's run, run, run to the sun, sun, sun. Hmm, AK 47 new. I do like that when you get the golden shovel, you can get like some okay ish weapons. I just wish that they were pack a punch, because let's be honest, by the time you get the AK, uh, the golden shovel, you're gonna be definitely way past. Uh, you know, like round twenty-ish. The sooner I could get out of here. Play with fire, you're gonna get burned. Let's get a bit of kills going. Dragon trap. Yeah, again, they just did. Can they just choose to go a different way? Like, why is it that they never get hit by that? It's so interesting. Golden helmet doesn't do anything, but it looks nice. It is nice in a more Gamer way to know that, like, you know, we're gonna be good for a bit. Yeah, I mean, I guess, like, if you can actually hit, like, a good amount of zombies with the uh, charge shot, it does seem to actually be really freaking good. But that's what I mean by you can definitely make this a camping song. Ah, oh, there's no reason to do that. So you choose zombies left or just deal with them. Yeah. 
38 feels so good. Okay, well this feels like it's just very fun and easy at the moment. Insta-kill, double points, zombie blood, you have literally every single thing you need. Let's reload this. Okay. I think the thing with this one is it's probably a lot harder to actually make good use out of compared to a lot of the other stars with uh, the charge shot because the other charge shots are kind of just you stand in them and then you're fine but you just need to know when you have to hit it again. This one's kind of a lot more, you gotta need to know style. Which can be definitely hard, I would say. But yeah, by the end of this round, we'll get to round 40, and I definitely think that we're gonna be able to do that. Yet again, I do think that with a lot of these weapons, it really just d comes down to, um, how much ammo and damage. The thing with this one is because it shoots three shots, it definitely does deal more damage, I feel, uh, than the lightning staff does. Oh, another panzer. Okay, we're in a actually kind of bad spot. We just fucked ourselves. If we didn't go to reload there, uh, we would have been fine. But you know what? 35, uh, 39 rounds, that's still fine. Uh, <laughs> our headshots got completely destroyed by that part. But like, yeah, I think Firestaff is a bit of an interesting case. I do think that um, it does have the potential to be a lot better, but it's one of those staffs where it does feel like you can get a lot more out of it, but at the same time, you have to put a lot more into it to actually you know, be able to do well with it. We got our knife back, let's go. But I think overall, personally, I would say I'd rather the lightning staff than the fire staff, just because ease of use. Um, the fact that, you know, many times when like I like I got down with the lightning staff, I could just zap the zombies around me and be safe. Obviously that one wasn't as fair because we got downed and then, you know, whatever, whatever. But like you know, to make good use out of the weapon, we wanted to be in a much more dangerous situation. Uh, that did mean that when we did go down, we would probably die. Uh, with the Lightning Staff, it was kind of better to just be in a place where you can loop a bit, but you kind of just want to click a bit more into a horde. This one, you want to kind of have things all around you, because you're shooting it in three directions. Um... But it's still definitely a good weapon. I'll have to look up if it's infinite damage. If it's infinite damage, then by process of if you're good enough, then obviously you can kill a lot more zombies. Um, you know, infinitely so. Uh, it does crash the game, apparently, when you get to really later rounds because of all the particle effects and stuff like that. But yeah, hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed this video in which I got destroyed at the start and the end. So it kind of came full circle. But yeah, have a lovely day. Goodbye.